it sounds like you really do have some doubt about it. Well, I, look, I haven't seen his. I haven't seen his. I haven't seen his grades. My grades ended up on the front page of the newspaper. So let's, you know, if we're going to show stuff, let's show stuff. So, but look, that's all a distraction. I mean, I get it. I'm, I'm really not worried about the president's birth certificate. It's fun to, uh, to poke at him a little bit and say, hey, how about, let's see your grades and your birth certificate. Wow. That's just stupid. Wow. That, no, no, he's doubling down on the birther stuff. Well, that's ridiculous. Why would, why? Well, he's, why you gotta? He, you know what? He says because it's fun. Okay, joining us now from Gray Court, South Carolina, CNBC's chief Washington correspondent, John Harwood. John, uh, what wow. do you make, first of all, of that? Because I know we want to talk about his economic plan, the whole flat tax that he's unveiled. But how do you get around that? Pretty interesting, Mika. I think he was trying to uh, play both sides, you know. He came out and said it's a good issue to keep alive. That was the first thing out of his mouth. He had a little bit of a grin on his face, and he went on to say, well, Donald has to have something to talk about it. And I gave him the chance to say, look, are you just joking about this, or, or are you serious? And he kept coming back to saying, well, I don't have a clue. I don't know where. I don't know what's on the birth certificate. So I think what he's trying to do is sort of tell people who are animated by that issue, uh, I'm, I'm with you. I'm not scared of it, uh, but not try to go so far that uh, that that people think he's uh, nutty. But he's a birther. I mean, he, it, may, he it, may have gone so that now, far anyway, though. Now yeah, we're he crossed. He, he he cro no, we're not going to talk about his economic plan it. right now. He crossed the line. Yeah. If 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 he's saying I haven't seen the birth certificate when we've all seen the birth certificate. Uh, it's just, it is bizarre, John, and it does it not suggest that he is playing to the lowest common denominator in his base? I think he is trying to jumpstart his campaign. You know, I prefaced the question, Joe, by saying, look, Mitt Romney says this is a closed issue. What about you? I think, again, he's trying to draw a contrast there. Same thing he did with his economic plan. I'm he says, I'm bold. Romney's nibbling around the edges. He's timid and and weak on this. Uh, and so I think that's the way that he's trying to uh, reflate his candidacy after having been uh, very high up and then uh, fallen down John, after these debate performances. It's just pathetic. I mean, even Donald Trump gave it up after hounding him day after day on the birth certificate. He showed the birth certificate, and Donald said, I'm proud that I made it. And I, it's like Rick Perry's like three months late to this conspiracy. I guess it's. It's bizarre. I wonder if the new people that are coming into his campaign, these old hired hands, uh, some very respected Republican operatives, are going to take this guy aside and say, stop making a fool of well, yourself. Well, uh, Carl Rove is saying out loud what he thinks of that strategy. Take yeah. a listen. Okay, well, listen, listen to Carl and then get John's response. You associate yourself with a nutty view like that and you damage yourself. And I know he went and he's trying to cultivate, as all of them are, Donald Trump in order to get his endorsement. But this is not the way to go about doing it because it starts to marginalize you in the minds of some of the people whom you need in order to get the election. And does, you know, d d there's a simple answer. Yes, he was born in the United States. Yes, he is eligible to serve. And don't associate yourself with sort of this nutty fringe group. John, Carl, tell a, us how you a, really a, a guy that well, worked, Joe, a, a again, guy that worked with Carl Rove, Joe Alba, who who helped run the Bush campaign in 2000, who helped run FEMA, is coming on board. Do you think a guy like Joe or Fabrizio will take him to the side and say, "You've got to stop talking this way"? It's too late. Well, I think Joe, he will expect they will do that today, and and here's the reason. By the way, I gave him repeated opportunities to say what Carl Rove said is all you have to do to put the issue to rest. But I think they, uh, uh, this new team is going to tell him to be quiet about that because this issue threatens to overshadow the economic plan he's laying out today. This is his big play for economic conservatives, 20% flat tax, eliminate dividend, capital gains, estate taxes, potentially huge loss to the government. Uh, in uh, revenue, although he says that through the dynamic effects on the economy, the government will make it up, will balance a budget by 2020. Uh, but the birther issue draws so much attention that that uh, uh, economic message may be blotted out today. And by the way, Joe, I asked him about the, the attacks that are coming over giving millions of dollars to the rich. I don't know if you have that sound and want to play it, but he said, look, I don't care about that. I care about uh, giving them more money to invest so we can have more jobs. Wow.
John. Well, that's just like, I mean, I, I couldn't agree more with what John just said about the last the last part of this is the, really the key. This is still playing, he's still, he's a grade A, a grade B player. This is minor league baseball here. Oh, you know? if you're, it's if you, so he is, he is, forget about, I mean, of course he's, of course he's trying to play to the lowest common denominator. And of course he's trying to be the consolidating figure for everyone on the right who hates Mitt Romney. And that includes people who still believe this crazy stuff about, the, about Barack Obama not being born in this country. But as a, in terms of candidate skills, we have criticized him for his debate performances, rightly, over the course of right. the last couple of months. A good candidate who's trying to do a relaunch around a seminal issue like taxes does not allow this thing to step on every headline he has that no, he's trying listen, to drive this week. No it's discipline. it's you, just the message discipline is so to, bad on this. what he said. Willie Geist, we were talking about it before yesterday, where... He's just so clumsy and awkward, and I'm sorry, he just sounds stupid in the parade interview when they say, they ask him, well, how do you, uh, why do you think he's not born in, in America? And his response was, well, he's never seen my birth certificate. Mm. And today, he, in this John Harwood interview, he's babbling incoherently, and I mean incoherently about Barack Obama's grades. Well, they, they published my grades. Why haven't they? That, that it just has nothing to do with anything, <laughs> Why Rick. Is Cain Wake is up, is. focus. You know what? What? This guy is 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 a bush league amateur playing on a very big stage. It's, a, it's also cowardice. Hey, if you believe that, come out and say it. Don't give these implicit endorsements. Does Barack Obama love America? I don't know. You'd have to ask him. I don't him. know. I didn't he say he say didn't it. love it, but yeah. you have to ask him. Do you believe it's birth certificate? I haven't seen it. I mean, and if you want to draw a contrast to Mitt Romney. You could draw a contrast by saying you believe in unicorns and that the moon landing was staged in Burbank. That's not a good contrast, was except it? for a small no. sliver of the electorate. It, it is. It is terrible. John. I was just going to say, he, uh, whether or not he is a uh, major league player or minor league player, he's got $15 million, and we are about to see when he goes up on the air in Iowa whether or not he could effectively land a punch on Mitt Romney and whether Mitt Romney can take it. You know who that reminds me of, having $15 million, a Texan with $15 million? John Connolly. <laughs> Phil Graham and John Connolly. I Two knew Texans. you were going there. Yeah, but I got to say, Phil Graham actually is an intelligent guy with an economic program. Uh, Rick Perry's making it up. I bet that $15 million, I bet his Texas $15 million gets burned through a lot faster than Phil Graham or John Connolly's $15 million. He's not going to try to land a punch on Rick Perry. He's going to try to drive an ice pick into his temples. Oh, it's just a frightening it's, it's, tower. It's, it's unbelievable. Hey, John Harwood, thank you. John, thank you very much.